Earthbound. The war against Gygus. Who will win? Four children or an ultimate world cosmic destroyer? Welcome everyone to Shigesato Itoi's Earthbound. Or if you're Japanese, it's known as Mother 2. Well, I've been longing to play this game on the channel, like forever, you know? And well, here it is, right in front of you on a video. <laughs> I know. Now, if you don't know anything about Earthbound, let me tell you a bit of something about it, as far as I'm concerned. So, the creator, Shinkasato Itoi, what? I don't know. Like, he's probably one of the greatest people who made it, because... Upon the release of the Japanese version, aka Mother 2, it got a lot of appreciation, in terms of sales, that is. Although... Unfortunately, when it was localized, it didn't sell well. That is, until, like, lots and lots of years later, to which now there's a whole freaking community centered on Earthbound. Like, I I know it didn't sell well, but, like, apparently people love it because of its storyline, so that's exactly why I'm playing it. Because people are so invested in it. I did hear it was a great game, however. Anyway, here we go. So, here's our file select screen and everything. I want my tech speed to be fast. Because who wants slow tech speed in games like this? We're gonna go with stereo sound because, well, why the mono audio? Like, we're not playing on a original Nintendo, we're playing on a Super Nintendo. Honestly, I'll go with the plain flavor. Oh, there he is! Anyway, for those of you who have no idea who he is... This guy, his name is Ness. I'm sure a lot of you know him from this game called Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And you're probably wondering, Hey, wait a minute, isn't he from Super Smash Bros.? Well, yes, but rather, no. Earthbound is his real origins. Unless, like me, you're a nerd who probably knows a lot about Earthbound. Anyway, I'm gonna name him... Fred. Because, well... That's me. And her. This is Paula. The second main protagonist. And I don't know what to name her. I'm probably gonna... Yeah. I bet you already know where I'm going with this one. And here's the genius. His name is Jeff. I mean, he is smart, you know. I'm thinking of a name. What will it be? Andy the genius, or Andy the smart kid, or whatever you want to call him. And this is, well, Pooh. His name is Pooh. I, I don't know why. I just had to. I couldn't think of any better names. Oh! Bet you're wondering how I did that. Simple. I just pressed the start button. But I bet you already know that, for all of you nerds out there. Anyway, this is Ness's pet, the dog. His name is King. But you know who I'm going to call him? Max! Focus, go. Hmm. 
Hmm. You know, to all honesty, I could never turn down any good steak, but... Oh. Darn it. I mean, I had to, because, well, I like steak and pizza at the same time, but just because I don't want to go with the default stuff, I'm putting pizza in the game, because why not? Now, the default coolest thing is rocking, but you know what? Who cares? Oh, crap. We know what we're going to put in. Exactly. PK Smash! Okay. I think this looks about right. And without further ado, ready? One, two, three, let's go! Into the story of Earthbound. The year is 1990X. Onet, a small town in Eagle Land, or however it's pronounced. Pardon me, but this is not on an actual Super Nintendo. Fred's house. And there he is. Is Fred sleeping in the middle of the night like we all do? But oh good heavens, what comes down is an asteroid slamming into the earth. Anyway, here's our little menu. Basic stats to start us off with. Oh, and yes. This is exactly what we get at the beginning of every Earthbound game. An ATM card. You know you shouldn't leave home without. It even works overseas. Yeah, fair enough. Anyway, let... Why don't we go investigate what the heck just made us wake up? But first, let's check on our family and see how they are. Oh yeah, and... By the way, for you newbies... Here's what happens when I press the L button. Hey, bro, did this sound make you up? Were you freaked out? Uh... I think I would be. Do you think Mom will let me stay up late? I can't seem to fall back asleep. I bet. I bet she's probably gonna let you stay up. Fred opened the present. There's a crap bat inside. A weapon. Yep. Oh, and mind you, I won't be commentating as much since, well, in a lot of games like these, I'm more so silent. Even if I were doing this without any kind of commentary at all. In other words, like, if I didn't have a microphone at all. Besides you, Inch, dogs also sleep at night. Why aren't you asleep? Uh, I'm sorry, but... An asteroid just slammed into the ground. Why do you think I'm not asleep, hmm? What was that noise? Fred, you don't seem scared. Are you nuts? Um, maybe, maybe. And now you want to go check it out? Oh, okay. You'll sneak out of your room anyway, even if I asked you not to. Okay, she's actually being real here. You could literally just walk right by and she wouldn't even care. At least change all your jammies before you go. Hey, yep. The look that everyone loves when it comes to Ness. I bet we're all familiar with it now. Be careful. Come home as soon as you can. Oh, don't worry. I'm going to come home as fast as Sonic the Hedgehog. 
Wait, wait. This is a Super Nintendo game. Um, anyway, where were we? I'm just gonna skip all those NPCs and just get straight to the meteor, right? Oh yeah, for all you newbies, yes. It's a meteor, right? Like, what else would not cause such a huge earthquake like that? Other than, like, natural events, hmm? That's what I thought. Fred, open the present. There's a bread roll inside. Fred takes it. Hmm. Oh yeah, you can examine... I forgot to mention you can examine items too. Bread roll. When eaten, you recover about 30 HP. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I forgot that I could just use the L button. Anyway. Hey, Fred! Hiya, buddy! A meteorite fell down and went boom! He was a real mess for a while. I was fine because I always ate garlic and work out to help make my body stronger. However, the weaker citizens probably fainted. I also want to tell you, whoops! I must tell you about my. Uh, by the way, Fred, did you check my billboard? I wrote the message myself. That's my real job, you know. I'm a billboard guy. Why didn't you check out my work? Sure. Treasure Hunter, this is Lear Aggregate's Ag house. Um, I need some of you Earthbound veterans to help me pronounce that name, because it's been a while since I last played, anyway. Let me think of an adult voice. Here goes. Nice timing, Fred. Will you do something about Poke? He's driving me nuts. Are you two friends? Uh, I guess. And you live in the house next to his. I see. Hey, Fred! Don't be rabbit You get in the cops. Oops! I mean, officer's way. You can go home now. Tomorrow, I, Pokey, will tell you more about the strange meteorite. right? I'm fine here, but you bugging the officers. Um, Pokey, it's you who's bugging the officers, man. <sighs> I wonder when the cops will leave. Oh, I don't know when they're going to leave. They're probably going to stay here all night. Hmm. Like... Somebody give me a bet that they're probably going to stay right where the meteorite is, like, the whole night. And I bet when I come back outside next time, they're not even going to be gone. Ha. <laughs> anyway, we're going to navigate back to Ness's home and... Oh, would you look at that? Our mom's outside. Oops. Welcome home, Fred. It's not necessary to talk about it tonight. It's late. It's good out to bed. Ah, oh, Fine. Later that night. A strange knock, an annoying knock, a loud knock, at the door, late at night, awakens the whole family. And who could it be, you may wonder. Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. How would you feel if someone started knocking at your door late at night like that? My land, who could be knocking at the door at this time of the night? Would you answer it? Why me? I got fleas sucking me dry, so I'm gonna lie still for now. Oh yeah, and also, as, as for voices and everything, I'm like constantly interchanging, so some of them I might not remember, much like most people who do playthroughs like these, so apologies if I mess up a bit anyway. Who's at the door? Oh, I bet they're doing... I bet it's an NPC doing that Ohio thing. Like, what was it? Uh, open the door! Open the door! Oh, would you look at that? It's freaking Pokey, man. Hey, l listen what I gotta say. When I took Pokey to the place where the meteor had landed. Oh, good evening, ma'am. Look, you look at lovely as usual. <laughs> Pokey, you risen son of a gun. You really think you can flirt with our mom, hmm? Hey, 
How many of you think Pokey has a crush on Nessie's mom? Because I'm starting to believe that. Anyway, as I was saying, the police that were guarding the meteorite landing suddenly left to deal with the sharks. You know the sharks, the luck ruffians. And they were really going wild. Suddenly, I noticed that Pinky was gone. I blamed the cops. It certainly wasn't my fault at all. When my dad gets back, I know I'm going to get it. You're my bestest friend. Won't you help me find Pinky? Go find him yourself, dumbass. If you refuse me, I'll say something that'll cut you like a knife. Will you come with me? <sighs> Whatever. Okay, good buddy, let's blow this popsicle stand. Before we go, why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree, ma'am? Oh no, not after you flirted with me. I imagine that Ness's mom would just be that way and kick Pokey right out of Ness's place. Like, rather, her house. I know that a dog is unreliable, but you should take Max along. The crack bat in Tracy's room could help out at a time like this. No matter what anyone says, you're a courageous, strong boy. You're my very own natural-born fighter. You'll go far. Remember to go for it. But I think you should change out of your jammies before you leave. Sure. And now... We are permanently we are permanently stuck in this outfit for the rest of the game. Spoiler alert. I'll do everything I can to help you. Good luck on your adventure. You might get hungry along the way, so here's a cookie. Bruh. You can also leave anything you don't need with me. Do you want me to hang on to something? I'm good. Be careful. Oh yeah, um, apparently Pokey has different dialogue when you don't have your weapon equipped, but before I show that off, I want to have Max get with us first. Do you want me to go with you? No. Oh, I get it. You just wanted to talk to me because I'm so lovable. Do you want me to go with you? I guess I have no choice. Let's go. Max joins you. Anyway, when you don't have your weapon equipped, apparently Pokey gives you some kind of help, like this. Sorry about giving you this game type advice, but you should equip your weapon. Do you know what equip means? No. It means use or wear. You must equip items in order to use or wear them. Equip is used in a lot of games like this, but you already knew that. All right. You go out in front, and I'll follow at a safe distance. Let's get going. Pokey joins you. Yep. They're not actual party members, by the way. They're just helpers. I wonder who could be calling us. <gasps> ah, yes. The man who went to get the milk. Hello, it's your dad. Work to exhaustion when you're young. Have you ever heard of a weird saying like this? Just remember, I'm always... Wo Damn it. Anyway, I'm going to redo that. <clears throat> Just remember, I'm always behind you 100%. Don't be afraid. I know that you're brave. You can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventure. I can make a record of your progress when you call me. Oh yeah, I deposited $30 into your bank account. Do you have your ATM card? Withdraw your money from any cash machine and buy whatever you need. Good luck, my boy. I feel like such a hero. What? Well, the father of a hero, at least. Wahaha! Beep! <sighs> he just hung up on us like he didn't even care. That's how you know he had to go and get the milk. And meet the first enemy we've ever encountered, the Spiteful Crow. <laughs> anyway, these dudes, these dudes are absolutely annoying because they m they may end up having a random chance of stealing one of your items. Oh fuck! I forgot. 
if you equip an item during battle, like, you automatically use it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you thought you could steal something? You thought you could steal something? Hmm? Don't mess with Fred, Pokey, and Max. Fred gained 3 EXP. Another cookie, man. What the frick? <sighs> this game's already bad now. Actually, just kidding, it's not. You have to be fucking kidding me, man. Oh yeah, smash attacks. That can happen. That depends on your guts, your guts level in in the game. That is like the higher your gut stat level is, the more likely you're gonna deliver smash attacks, and the more likely you're gonna be surviving mortal damage with like one HP left. Like that's probably the realism of it. And here's our first power, Life Up Alpha. And now the PSI option's unlocked. And according to the game, the power, the psychic power Life Up Alpha restores at least 100 HP to just one of, one of your party members. But, I'd rather use my bed, my bread roll. Like, I accidentally said bed roll and not bread roll. <laughs> yeah, I can't freaking read, man. Hey, at least we're starting to beat up the crows now. <laughs> I wonder what other enemies there might be. Hmm. Is that a snake? It's not just a snake. It's a coil snake! Which, by the way, these are like the worst enemies in the entire game in terms of how much experience you get. Like, you're probably gonna have to stick around until I beat this dude. Ow. Yeah, like... Do you see what I mean? These dudes give you one experience point. Ass! Ugh. This is why I hate coil snakes. Dude. Oh boy. that worked aside from how one experience point just isn't enough anyway hey Fred I was too busy to investigate but I heard a child's voice on the hilltop I'm a busy man when I do a job well I, I'll make sure I do it well Cause remember I'm a man's man a man's man oh I wonder what that could mean Ow. If I knew this, if I knew this was gonna be such a scary place, I'm gonna come along. I'm out of here. <sighs> what a cow! Damn. I don't know why all of a sudden Max would just be a coward. What? Oh, you woke me up, Pokey. I've been looking all over for you. You see, Pokey got scared and ran away. Well, I'm glad you're okay at least. Let's go home now. I bet Mom and Dad are worried sick about us. Jeez, sometimes I wonder which one of us is the real big brother. And we have both brothers, Pokey and Picky. I'm s sorry, bro. I have the high ground. You got me? 
Mr. Coil Snake. You can't fucking hurt me, man. Fed, do you hear most of this sounds like a bee flying around? Maybe. It's a bee. Yes, you can hear it. Bright light beaming from the meteorite. And all of a sudden, a bee I am. Not. I'm from 10 years in the future. And in the future, all is devastation. Gygus, the Universal Cosmic Destroyer, sent all the horror, uh, sent all to the horror of eternal darkness. However, you must listen. Where I am from, there's a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says, when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock and will reveal the path of light. You see, it is my opinion that you are that boy, Fred. This I believe. Giga's monstrous plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions of Gygus. Three things are of utmost importance. Wisdom, courage, and friendship. The legends from the ancient times tell of three boys and a girl who defeat Gygus. I will tell you more later. Go now, and do not be anxious about the future. You have much work to do, Fred. Did you listen to what I told you? Wow, nice story. I guess I'll believe you. Thank you for listening to my long story. You are as exceptional as I expected you to be. Well, say hello to Buzz Buzz. He's actually a helper. Even though he's really going to be a helper. Fred! It looks like you're really in a lot of trouble this time. Three boys, he said. Uh, I'm not one of those three, am I? Because I'm not into this kind of thing at all. Jeez. My head's, pop my head's almost pounding right out of my chest. Oh, sure. As if you'll ever be part of the legends. Hmm. For a fat boy like you, Pokey. Fred, buddy. I have something to tell you, and only you. Can you come visit me later? Alone. Uh... Yes? Uh, um... I don't like the... I don't like where this is going now. Huh. Anyway. I know, I know I'm mostly quiet, but I'm... I don't have much to say, you know. I I don't I don't like aligning with the sidewalk. Hey bro, where'd you come from? It's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You have been successful at foiling Master Gygus's plans. But, Buzz Buzz, you must now surrender. You are no longer a hero, but just a useless insect. I'll stomp you hard. Well, here is our first boss fight of the entire game, the Starman Jr. Anyway, I'm going to be letting Autofight play play through this because, well, even as much of a helper Buzz Buzz is, he's actually going to be doing a lot of work, as you'll see during the battle. So I'll just... Have my microphone muted. Anyway, enjoy the battle. Thank <laughs> you. 
And he's gone. Woo! First boss of the game destroyed. Yep. With with the fighting contributors being Fred, Picky, and Buzz Buzz. Of course, with Fred being buffed up another level. <sighs> I was taking a big chance there. He came from 10 years in the future to kill me, so we can't relax yet. From now on, you'll be finding enemies sent by Gygus, as well as humans who have evil thoughts. They'll definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent due to Gygus' influence over their evil minds. Er, wait, no. The evil in their minds, I'm sorry. It's the truth. You have to listen to me. Okay, okay. Anyway, why don't we... I wonder what's in... Interesting. Uh, uh, oh, what the f... <laughs> Hello. Friend and the Sam, who have you boys been? I'll have to think of a suitable punishment. Um, yeah, Mrs. Largemouth. I'm really sorry that my kids tra tra troubled you so much. Both of you are really gonna get it now. Why you little? Get the fuck back there. I feel like he just beat the shit out of them. By the way, I would be happy if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family living next door. We loaned your father a lot of money. He may have been a hundred thousand dollars or more. Well, I guess it really could have been less. But because of the loan, my family and I loan. <laughs> oh, can you redo that? But because of the loan, my family and I now live in poverty. My husband is too lenient with the children. Oh well, nice guys finished last. Damn it. Oh well, nice guys finished last. That's the story of my life. Mrs. Largemouth, please let me lay on your hair for a bit. I'm tired of flying, and I and I don't feel like sitting on Ness's baseball cap. Yee! It's a dung beetle! I'll smash your guts out! Yeah! Oh, damn you, Mrs. Largemouth! I know I'm doing a lot of unnecessary voicing, uh, voice acting, but like, dude, did you fucking see that? <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> My husband's very soft-hearted. Okay, both y'all can shut the fuck up now. I need to converse with Boss Boss before it disappears. Ah, I was <coughs> much weaker than I thought. So now you must begin your adventure. See you. <coughs> oh. I just remembered. Listen to my final words. And this is definitely where we're going to be instructed on what to do for the rest of the game. And so I'll listen carefully. To defeat Kygus, your own power must unite with the Earth's. The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points that you must visit. Make these places your own. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is Neuronet. It's called Giant Step. Go there first. Did you understand what I said? Yep. All right. You're a very intelligent young man and... Oh! Uh, oh, the pain! Everything is getting dark. Uh, uh, <coughs> Before I pass on, I want to give you something. It's the Soundstone. You can record the melodies from the eight your sanctuary locations into this stone. It's an awesome item. By the way, I'm almost gone. But did you want to hear my story one more time? Uh, I don't. I don't want to waste any more time here. I think we're all good. Good. Sorry, you don't want outside. But it doesn't matter to me. I'm fading fast. Ugh. <coughs> Fred got the soundstone. Uh, goodbye, Fred. <sighs> I forever wish you 
great luck on your journey. <sighs> Goodbye, Buzz Buzz. Welp. It seems as though we are not going to see Buzz Buzz throughout the rest of the game. My dad really got after me. He said I get no dessert for the rest of the decade. Damn. I feel like you deserve it just... I feel like... He he deserves it for flirting with my mom, like, during the beginning of the video. Like, the beginning of the game, I mean. I don't want to look at the meteorite anymore. Uh, sure, I'm... I guess I'll just get the fuck out of here before shit gets worse. <sighs> oh boy. It's dawn, you mean? Wow, ni nice! Hey! I know this song, it's the theme. It's the theme of the town. South to the suburbs of Onet. Anyway. You son of a bitch! Lol, bro has a big grin on his face and he trying to riz up my... My boy and Fred, and he thinks he can just do it with a big grin on his face, but he can't even do it because he always steals my items all the time during battle. I think I may have sounded a bit cringeworthy. Am I wrong? <sighs> this is why I hate spiteful crows. They don't give you good items. Anyway, here's a little surprise. Here he comes, Mr. Photo Man. Pictures taken instantly! I am a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say, Fuzzy Pickles. Fuzzy Pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. I am never going to do that guy's voice again, because, like, it literally fucking hurts my throat, man. Anyway, here's a little nice healing spot surprise. You're back! Don't bother yourself with talking now. You look too tired. Mothers understand these things. Eat some pizza and scoot up to bed. And... Ta-da! We have been fully revitalized. Yep. So if you talk, so if you talk to the, your mom, so if you were to talk to your mom, uh, okay, let me think of a way to say this. So while you're playing, if you're like right near your mom's house, you could just talk to her and she'll heal you up right away. But you will be spawned right in your bedroom. Good morning, sleepy bones. Are you ready to start your adventure? I'm so proud of you. That little man's growing up too fast. I don't want to go anymore. I don't care if I want things. I'm a stubborn mutt. I think that's about all I'm going to do for this episode. Let's first get Dad. Fred, it's your dad. I deposited $48 in your bank account. Taking away what you've spent, you should now have $78 in the bank. Well, the EXP to get to the next level. Fred, 14. Anyway, what do you need from me? Save my game. All done. Your dear old dad was also thinking about hitting the hay for the night. I have created a record of your adventure to this point. Good night. Sleep tight. Oh yeah, you can also choose to either keep playing or stop. I'm gonna hit stop, cause well, Oh yeah, and if you pick end, you have no other choice but to turn the game off, because that's pretty much where it ends. We're a great team, aren't we? Well, you should turn the power off instead of just pressing reset, alright? Okay. Anyway, um, 
I think that's about all I'm going to be doing for this episode today. Anyway, thanks y'all so much for watching. And I'm sorry if some of you don't appreciate my commentary because, well, this is, probably, this is like the first time I've ever done it on any sort of playthrough like this. Now, anyway, I'm going to be going to bed now. So, good night. I hope you all are having an amazing day, after, evening, night, or whatever it is. And I will see you in the next episode. Good night.